Hello everyone, Wyatt here. Hope you're all doing well. For all my subscribers, welcome back. Today I thought I'd get out and try to explore some more of the uh, mountains around here in the gold belt and uh, see what we can find today. I took advantage of the somewhat nice weather today to get out here. Still a little bit of snow in the mountains, so I'm going to be kind of limited to where we can go, but thought I'd do a little bit of metal detecting, maybe some panning, and just kind of looking around the area, and I'll talk a little bit about the geology of the area. So if you want to stick around, awesome. Hopefully we'll find some interesting stuff. All right, so I've been mapping this area on Google Maps for quite a while, the sedimentary and fault formations, as well as the igneous, and this is a gold belt. There's some gold deposits here, and I'm right next to two different gold mines. One produces more than the other. It's a nice area around here. So, gold deposits in this area. Let's talk about that. So the gold is the main the main gold vein, the rich area, is following a thrust fault. And there are several veins associated with that thrust fault. Almost looks like some, uh, what do you call those, mud cracks or whatever, almost. Alright, so let's talk geology. So these rocks, uh, these mountains, are made up of sedimentary rock. And the gold is traveling up a several veins, quartz veins, through thrust fault. That's just right over here, and uh, behind me it's a very long thrust fault. I'm in this uh, valley here. Base of the valley we have a strike slip fault, which is right lateral. So I was kind of thinking the thrust fault terminates against that fault, and I was wondering what existed first. Did the thrust fault exist first, or did, was it a product of the strike slip faulting? I'm not quite sure about that one, but I was thinking if the thrust fault existed before the strike slip, that the strike slip could have offset it, which means the same thrust fault system with possibly the same gold deposits could be located several miles uh, either south or not south, uh, east or west of here. Looking at the geologic maps, I realized that this area is actually a big anticline. So there's like a, it's like a big fold, uplift area. So the lower rocks of the sedimentary group are exposed at the surface and that fold, the anticline, that could have been either due to tectonics or maybe the igneous intrusions that are in the area. Not too far that way, we, there's some igneous intrusions that cross the valley. So maybe, possibly, as the, the igneous rocks were intruding into the sedimentary zone, the pressure from that could have pushed up the lower sedimentary rocks and kind of folded it upward, making that anticline, or it could have been from tectonics as stresses squeezed the area and maybe pushed the lower rocks up towards the surface. Now what's interesting about these gold veins is they're occurring in contact usually with a certain sedimentary group of rock and it's the lowest member of the group here of the different sedimentary rocks. Um, it's most common in, in those areas. The gold mine's just on the other side of this hill roughly, mountain, and uh, what's interesting is when you're towards the center of the anticline, which is kind of where this gold mine is roughly, that's where you're finding most of the gold. As you get further away towards the edges of the anticline, uh, the gold drops, well not drops, uh, the gold amount in the rock and quartz veins seems to drop and there's not as much gold as you get further away from the middle of the anticline. So when you're in the middle you have more gold and as you leave this spot the gold amount goes down. But what starts to go up is as you get, go away from the gold you start to find more copper and silver and lead and zinc deposits. So I got my equipment here. Thought I'd just scan through these rocks roughly real fast. Now this area has been a hot spot for prospectors for the last hundred years, so I'm pretty sure this a lot of it's going to be picked over. But I still found gold here before. Not much, but there's got to be some around here still, so I'm going to scan this with the detector real quick and we'll see what's here. First find, I'm not sure if this is a piece of metal that's really rusted or if that's some kind of rock, but it sets off pretty loudly, so I'll pocket it just in case. Could just be a piece of metal that's rusted.
All right, I think I'm gonna move on from this location, but I wanna show you guys a couple things first. So I definitely think someone's been here recently with a metal detector because I'm, where is it somewhere is a good example. I think it's right here. You notice there's kind of a indent here, like a hole. I'll turn my detector on. So I'm not gonna even dig that up because to me it looks like someone's already dug it up. Probably was a piece of junk metal and they threw it back in the hole. So there's these hot rocks. Let's see if I can find an example. I know what they look like. Ah, here, there's one right there. Here. Here. Not sure what these are. But uh, they must have some iron in them. Still getting used to this gold bug, but from my understanding, it'll make more of a high pitched sound for lead and gold targets and more of a lower sound for iron and scrap. The quartz targets have not produced hardly any sound at all, so kind of an interesting rock here. You can see the vein going through the host rock, kind of brecciated. All right, let's take a look around here. See what we can find. Oh, look at that. Now that ain't gold there. Let me get good lighting on that. You see that? Here's some pyrites. Fool's gold. Lots of it. Hopefully you can see that. I can see it just fine. I'm just looking through the camera screen and, and uh, the sun right now is making it hard to tell. Now, as uh, some of you probably know, pyrites are usually associated with sulfides. Like, I mean, <laughs> not pyrites, gold. Gold is usually associated with sulfides like pyrite. Um, in the case of the geology here, at the gold mine, it seems that the gold is pretty associated with uh, galena. Um, wherever there's galena, most of the time, down to the microscopic level, looking through a microscope, they had this. They had these images in their report. Uh, you'd have galena going through the quartz, and right next to it, you'd also have gold. So there seems to be a, a connection between the two in this area. See, see some pyrites in there. Now there's a couple different veins at this mine. You have some veins of, where it's just pure massive quartz, then you have brecciated brains, and then, not brains, veins. <laughs> and uh, then there's a banded vein, and the banded veins are where they're finding most of their richest uh, gold. Now I actually got to go up into the mine when I was, uh, it was my first semester of college, and we took a geological field trip up into the mine as well as the other one across the valley here so I've at least been up there so I know what's up there maybe once I got the crusher going which I've actually started to build and work on and got some basic parts cut out anyways maybe I can come back here and collect some quartz and we can see what we can get out of it hot rock barely getting a reading with this one this looks to be some of that gouge material from the fault. If you look in there, you hopefully you can see the pyrites. There's a pyrite right there. It's got pyrites all through it, tiny ones. It's pretty heavy, actually. This is a pretty dense rock. Very dense, actually, for its size. It feels like it anyways. Maybe it's just me. Sound like a drain over here. I don't know where that's going. Huh. Big old sinkhole opened up underneath me. I think I just saw some pyrites. Yep, right there. Too bad it isn't gold. You can see that right there. Some pyrite.
more pyrite and more pyrite. Yeah, it's gotten quite cold actually. My fingers are starting to go not numb, but they're getting there. Got some more piles of rocks over here. Let's check it out. That's lodged in there. Almost looks like more of the a gouge rock from the fault line. That almost looks like banded quartz right here. Yeah. Almost. No, that's partly banded quartz right there. So yeah, this is the stuff they're finding the gold in right here. Most of it. I mean, they're finding gold all over the place, but most of it's coming out of banded quartz. A little bit more banded than this, but that's an, an example. I was looking through more quartz, and uh, right there, it's a piece of galena, I believe. So that's a good sign. Which means there might be some microscopic gold in this rock that I can't see. Another quartz rock, more pyrite, but where is it? Oh, there it is. There's a little micro fault or fracture. See the offset? Got a vein here and then it kind of comes up here. Now it almost looks like these are old cobbles from the river. Or maybe it's just slide deposits when from whatever erosion was taking place here. That looks like a good spot. I can see some rusty dirt there. Right through there. Probably means it's... No, not there. Alright, let's take a sample of this stuff right here. Should be a good start. Alright, let's use what little water I have here. Start off with a small amount, don't want to do too much. Oh yeah, this should be enough. Cool. I got holes in my boots. I need to get new ones. You can't have wet feet when you're out in the woods. There's nothing worse than that. Maybe a couple other things. <laughs> hey! There's one little piece of gold in there. Two little pieces of gold. There it is. Really tiny. See it right at the tip of my finger? Apparently I'm only really good at finding the small stuff. One little piece, huh? I think there'd be more. Let's keep working on it and see if we can get some more gold out of that. Alright, let's see what we can get on our second pan. First gold of the year, too. Cool. Alright, second pan had nothing. I'm going to keep on going and see what else I can find here. So. Hands are getting cold and I'm running out of memory for the camera, so hopefully I find some more gold. Another small speck. It's always one. <laughs> Probably won't be able to see it. It's right up here in the pan. I'm gonna have to look and see if there's a way to get up to the top portions of those mountains and maybe possibly on the back side because veins probably eh, maybe not actually because I forgot about that strike slip fault so that might offset some things all right it's time to call it a day sun's going down losing daylight and I'm tired so not too bad of a day found my first gold of the year some quartz and uh, you know some pyrites and mineralization so not too bad again thanks for watching and uh, thank you all for showing the support I uh, really appreciate it all my subscribers hope you're all doing well with what's going on right now it will get better eventually just uh, stay healthy and stay happy summer's coming temperatures are warming up things should get better here soon so anyways 